88 comes to the rescue again. You can see it's running at 8 amps. I don't usually have it running that many amps because I'm usually a higher voltage. And my my charger that I've been waiting to bulk charge has not arrived. It's now mail or something uh, from China. So I've had to pull the pack in half and have to keep undoing all the wiring, which is a pain. Now this is a really important safety note to people really need to know this. These resistor um, resistance or whatever they, they provide at the initial spark, anti-spark, which actually they still spark but not as much, are quite dangerous um, because with alligator clips usually you can just clip onto the inside of the um, female but this part, if, if you leave the um, housing down and push it in, as I did um, successfully the first time, but this time um, it started to smoke, the wires started getting hot, so what, I, what I'd done is actually just added the alligator clip to the resistance part and it was just getting hot. So note and be careful. I that's why I don't leave my charging area um, especially when I'm running something new or something odd I make sure I'm in the same area so thank God for the safe sadiator I can split this up into um, 8s on that side and 12s on this side and then I just use these cell checkers and watch them climb continuously and I stick around especially at the beginning um, if everything is looking relatively okay around 3.85 I don't mind taking a, a little bit of a move away from things but with with this and uh, having smoke starting to come out was quite freaky I must admit so yeah and why is this one not working because every hour it turns turns off or if they're balanced, it turns off. Just let me move that rope. Just wait, wait, sorry about that, dudes. Yeah, let me do that one more time. So all I do is I don't push them in all the way. I just put, put them, push them in just enough and they restart. So you can see um, this one was turned off because it's all at 3.76, 3.76. This one just turned off. I have to do the bloody same thing and I don't have three hands. Undo this one and reconnect. Oh, I've got to bloody undo the whole thing now. Three point, let's see all of the cells together, how different they've become. 3.76, 3.7677, six, seven, seven, 3.776. So they're all equal um, on this half, and they are not connected um, to the ADS side, obviously. So that's my bulk charging solution. And I like how it tells you 24%, 26%, 25% there. And they just keep changing. Um, as you can see, they do mildly balance. Um, if they're flashing, they're balanced down. And they don't get hot because they don't really pull much. And there you go, that one just turned off because it's all balanced. Um, still would like to know if they actually turn back on. These auto checker cell checker auto balancer balance socket which is quite tight to get into anyway I got these from Hobby King if you're interested and they do have this nice little strap which makes it easy to just put on anywhere um, yeah so you can see I've got Anderson my Anderson's there that I was running before and I put on these alligator clips to be able to fit different things unfortunately this had to be one of those suckful thingos anyway that's all and Keep cool, guys.